Known as one of China's greatest engineering projects of the 21st century, the Qinghai-Tibet Railway sets the record for having the longest track on frozen earth. More than 550 kilometers of the railway was built on permafrost, a mixture of soil and ice that remains continuously frozen for at least two years. It expands in winter and contracts in summer, threatening the stability of roadbed, the foundation for railroad tracks. By graveling embankments and installing vent pipes underneath the roadbed to provide thermal stability for the permafrost, Chinese engineers successfully solved the problem. On some occasions, the high-speed trains run on elevated rails. Tracks were laid on a bridge with piers placed underground it avoids direct contact between rails and the permafrost. 85% of Qinghai-Tibet Railway is over 4,000 meters above sea level. The lack of oxygen posed another challenge. Workers carried oxygen tanks weighing 10 kilograms while completing the construction. Over 110 medical facilities were constructed along the railway with more than 600 medical staff to take care of the workers. Protecting the fragile ecosystem was also a key concern for the engineers. The railway runs through Hoshell National Nature Reserve and several other nature reserves, where many rare plants and animals live, including the endangered Tibetan antelope. 33 passenger ways were built along the railway for wildlife to safely cross. The Qinghai-Tibet Railway has boosted economic and social development of Qinghai province and the Tibet region. Its construction showcases China's perseverance and has made traveling more convenient across the nation. The Qinghai-Tibet Railway currently holds at least eight world records. The construction began as early as 1958 and completed a phase one railway in 1984, linking the city of Xining with Golmud on the border between Qinghai province and the Tibet Autonomous Region. The second phase didn't start until 2001, when state leaders at the time decided it was vital to also connect Tibet to the fast track of economic development like other parts of the country. Well, construction work uh, took an amazingly short five years, brushing through Qinghai Lake, climbing over the Tangula Mountain, as well as uh, crossing over the Kaidam Basin, until workers finally paved the rails to Lhasa in October 2005. The Qinghai-Tibet Railway, as you see today, formally opened uh, traffic in 2006. Before that, the Tibet Autonomous Region, which due to its altitude and terrain, was the last province-level entity in China to have a conventional railway. And in the past 14 years, it's been acting as a bridge for the landlocked Tibet Autonomous Region. It's linked with the uh, Liangang-Lanzhou Railway in the south and Eurasian Land Bridge in the north.